Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. Yes, from my own garden again, not on the beach today. Busy day, so I keep it short but powerful. Four amazing Bitcoin charts, five amazing Bitcoin charts, a uh, Bitcoin trading tip, of course, some travel tips, of course, some live advice, and yes, also talk about the news. Now, let's quickly jump into the first part, the charts, because you want to know why we are now at 37,400 US dollar per Bitcoin and where are we going to go? I can tell you, we're going to see a very interesting move upcoming in Bitcoin. Enjoy the video. The first chart for today, guys, is this beautiful day chart. Uh, this one is on Bybit, BTC, USDT, perpetual contract. Uh, we can see in the day chart that we are moving beautifully. There was this beautiful cross. Yes, there, the green line crossed that red line so that's a golden cross over there beautiful signal to buy of course most of you listen to me and did buy at that levels but at the moment we can see a sell order and we can see that sell order on the top of the bollinger band now that bollinger band is contracting which means that sell order could be a valid sell order but it also means it's not going to lead into a shitload of profit because there is a lot of support the volatility in this bollinger band is not too wide as you can see the midline is close to the top and to the bottom line now if you look now at the confirmations of the indicators over here the rsi for example the rsi at the moment yes is topping out we went way above the dollar line we are coming a little bit down to the dollar line and they are sideways so yes we could pull back a little bit and then I probably, if we would pull back, if we would pull back massively, that would be to the 33k level, uh, the level of that green line. But I believe we would first have support around 34,200 and maybe even at 36,100, guys. So on the day chart, looking very bullish to me, I still believe in a huge move towards above 40,000 US dollar, maybe even 48,000 US dollar. And from there, I expect that huge pullback. If you're trading short term, of course, always use the Bitcoin family setup to trade. And if you want to know how that works, then go to the bitcoinfamily.com and you will find how you become a VIP. And with that VIP membership, you get access to the setup, to all the questions and to all the educational videos that we are have built for you as well. Now, let's quickly jump into the next chart. This uh, chart is showing you the Bitcoin price movements. Um, and in the bottom, in the green and red uh, hills, you can see uh, the change in M2, which is the complete total amount of money worldwide, guys. Now we can see all those moments, quantitative easing was happening, the printing of money out of thin air, let's say like that, that is when those green hills appear on the bottom. Every time when they started to print a shitload of money out of thin air, um, that had a beautiful effect on Bitcoin because the Bitcoin price went up from those moments. Now we just left that red area on the bottom and we are starting to print a little bit more money. And if the Fed and all the other central banks want to save the economies worldwide, they have only one option at the moment. And that option is to start printing a shitload more money out of thin air. At the moment they start to print a shitload of more money, that green hill will start to go up again. And that is exactly the moment that you see Bitcoin going up as well. Because that printed money, is free money that is being distributed to the rich, to that 1% rich people and companies that will use it to invest it, of course, in store of values like Bitcoin and gold. So that's how it works. The governments and the banks, they print a shitload of money out of thin air, nothing is backing it. They, distrib they distribute that newly printed money to their rich friends and companies to save the economy. And those rich friends and companies don't just save the economy, they also start to invest in store of values because they receive that money for free. So yes, they will use it to buy something that makes themselves richer and not you and me. Now, next chart. Here we have a beautiful chart, the halving price index. We can see that from the previous halving price, we are now up 4.3 times, which means halving in May 2020 was around 8,570 US dollar. So from that moment, if you count times 4.3, you arrive at the level we are today, 37,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Now, the red line and the blue line are representing exactly the same, but then four years before that. So if you look to the red line, that performed better than the white line. If you look to the blue line, that performed better than the red line. So if we look at the stage where we are, we should be going even higher. 
So we should end up, in my honest opinion, between five times and six times the halving price of 2020, which would be between 40 and 50K. Just compared to the blue and the red line, where they were at this moment in the cycle and where they ended. They both ended higher. And yes, we can see a dip in the red line, and that was probably that COVID crash. So that was a black swan event. Now, in this chart, you can see it even a little bit more clear. You can see the Bitcoin cycle bottom to the cycle top. So we can see to the left on the chart, that's the cycle bottom. And we can see to the right of the chart, the cycle top. And that white line is representing this current bull market. And you can see exactly where we are. So the cycle bottom was 15,758. We already increased more than two times from that bottom price. Just like the other cycles did as well. We are now in line with the movement of those other cycles. So if you can see that from the bottom to the halving, these three lines now are kind of, wa kind of walking the same path. You can also see what happened after that halving with the blue and the red line. The blue and the red line went massively up. If that white line will underperform the red line, so not perform as well as the red line, we could still end up somewhere around 126,000 US dollar and still be underperforming that red line. If it would be performing the same as that red line, we would end up above 250,000 US dollar. If we would follow that blue line, we could even end at $2 million per Bitcoin, which I don't believe that we are going to do. I do believe that the returns every cycle are going to be less and less. So yes, I believe we are going to end up somewhere between 90 and 120K which would be a beautiful in line with those other two lines that you can see on the chart. A little bit lower than the red line, like the red line was a little bit lower than the blue line. Pause the chart, if you pause the video if you want to analyze it a little bit more. Now, then we have this chart, the Bitcoin cycle peak to the cycle peak. Here you can see beautiful as well that yes, to the left you can see the cycle peak, the previous cycle peak, and now to the right you can see uh, the new cycle peak, so the new all-time high. Look where we are. We are just in front of that halving. From that halving, we will see again a massive run, guys. And that run, in my honest opinion, will end somewhere between 90 and 120K. If you look at these charts, you understand exactly why I'm saying this. All of these charts are showing you that we are now at that part of the bull market. You can still buy Bitcoin cheaply. A very beautiful chart I found on Twitter. Um, I, I don't, a trader, Alan, I can see it is from, is this one. He's comparing the monthly charts um, from the period in 2017, so 2013 to 2017, with the monthly chart now in the period from 2021 to 2025. So 2013 to 2017, that's four years. We can see on the right side of the chart, the 2013 top. Then we can see that green dot, that was a 2015 bottom. Then we can see November 2015, where we are, and then we can see December 2015, which was the bull market top, and that was a bull run of 25 months. Now, if you now look to the left part of this chart, we can see exactly the same months even. November 2021 was the top. January 2023 was the bottom, just like in 2015, it was the bottom in January. In November now, we are already up from that bottom. Just like in November 2015, we were up from that bottom. Almost doubled the price between January and November in 2015. Now in 2023, we did exactly the same. So if you would say, ah, this is a beautiful fractal, you can understand that from November 2023, a 25-month bull run will be starting and will go up all the way up to 100K, for example. You can even see on the bottom part of the chart, the MFI, which indicates exactly the same. We left that bottom dotted line, we are going to go up slowly. And yes, from that moment that we find this beautiful level here and we create a structure, we will go in the bull market. And the bull market will take 25 months, all the way up to 2025, to reach a new top in Bitcoin. 
I hope you really enjoyed the charts guys. Yes, those charts again showing you where we are exactly in that four year cycle of the Bitcoin. And we are at that moment, you should be accumulating Bitcoin all the way up to the halving 2024. I believe you will be buying Bitcoin at cheap prices, which means if you buy between now and the halving, 40 50k per bitcoin i believe in april 2024 you will still be able to double your capital in a one and a half to two years so it's still a beautiful return on investment it's not the one that you could get now if you buy now so still a beautiful moment to sell your third car or your second car or your motorbike or any other luxury stuff that's in a garage that you're not using on a daily basis or even not usually on a monthly or yearly basis why do you keep that stuff sell that stuff buy bitcoins wait for one and a half year and then buy that stuff back again or even more beautiful stuff uh, if you're really addicted to all the materialistic stuff guys now that were the charts let's quickly jump into the trading tip the trading tip for today guys is always wear bitcoin flip-flops <laughs> <laughs> Do you like my new Bitcoin flip-flops? I already bought a pair last year. I'm buying again because I really like them. Thick sole, Bitcoin logo, where else? In Thailand, guys. But the official trading tip for today, guys, is about the Bollinger Band. The Bollinger Band is a very beautiful indicator that you can use on the charts to see the combination of a certain moving average. The midline of the Bollinger Band is a 20 MA and the top and the bottom line indicate the price volatility in uh, that certain asset, for example, Bitcoin. So every time when we reach the top of the Bollinger Band and there is a short, for example, in the Bitcoin family indicator setup, then you know, yeah, that's a good short because we are at the top of the volatility. We could retrace to that midline, the 20 MA, and even to the bottom Bollinger Band. Other way around, if you're on the bottom of the Bollinger Band and there is a long, yes, and, and there is a long in the Bitcoin family signal setup, yes, take that long because we could visit the midline or even the top. And depending on how wide or how compressed that Bollinger Band is, depending on how big the trade will be. So if the Bollinger Band is compressing very tight for a very long time, uh, so the midline is close to the top and to the bottom line, there will be a moment of a breakout. Then we just need to wait for the direction of the breakout. Is it going to go to the top or to the bottom? and you step into a beautiful trade. If the Bollinger Band is already really wide and you're able to take a trade at the bottom, a long, beautiful, you have a lot of upward potential. If you're on the top and you can take a short when the Bollinger Band is really wide, take that short because there's a lot of downward potential, which means a lot of profit. So the Bollinger Band, a very handy tool to see the 20 MA plus the price volatility and to take your trades. If you want to trade, of course, always trade on Bybit. At the moment, shitload of bonuses, 30K deposit bonus, many other bonuses, many other competitions. There's so much things possible on Bybit. I will soon need to make a new Bybit video because the platform really expanded and I really need to show you what is now all possible on Bybit, guys. If you want to trade decentralized, trade on Apex Pro. There is only one exchange that is the best DEX out there, and that is Apex Pro, order book DEX. So it feels like completely the same experience you have on Bybit, and a centralized exchange where you can put buy orders, sell orders, where you can use leverage, etc. but now in a decentralized way. So you connect your own wallet, to an exchange and then start to trade and when you disconnect and the exchange goes like bankrupt you still have your wallet with your tokens bitcoin ethereum or any other coin base so that was the trading tip for today i hope you enjoyed it uh, let's go into the next part the travel tip for today guys is a very simple one most airports like abroad they have wi-fi services but there is also countries that you will visit that the airport wi-fi doesn't work that beautifully guys so the best thing you can do to avoid a shitload of roaming cost is to take a local sim card of that country and you cannot only get that sim card when you arrive at the airport you can also pre-order a sim card already online because nowadays we have e-SIM cards, which means you don't need to have a physical SIM card, but it's a digital SIM card. So you can keep your own SIM card in your telephone, your one of your provider, for example, in the Netherlands, the KPN, or in Germany, you have T-Mobile. So you have that SIM card in your mobile. But before you go to a new country, you Google and you find the website where you can buy e-SIM for that next country that you're going to visit. If you take these SIM cards, you just need to go online and you need to do some stuff. You need to upload your passport and then you get an e-SIM that you can install on your newest telephones, like the iPhone. And then you have a dual SIM uh, setup on your phone. A core SIM card from your home country and an e-SIM from that Asian country. And then you set your telephone 
to use that eSIM for all the data and all the other stuff and you use your own SIM card just for uh, as a telephone number because that's very handy if you use the Bitcoin debit cards like crypto.com or the Bybit debit card for example if you want to have them yes click the links down below if you want to use those sometimes you get a confirmation on your official telephone number that you registered the card on so if you then have this new card which is not as an eSIM, like a Thai card in your telephone, you need to have another telephone to receive those messages, you know, the confirmation messages when you uh, spend with your debit cards. So, this eSIM is the perfect solution. Uh, one, you will not be running around searching for Wi-Fi in the airport. Two, uh, yes, you can keep using your debit cards beautifully because then those OTP messages that you will receive on your primary number will still come into your telephone. That was the travel tip for today. Let's jump into the next part. news for today guys i couldn't find any very special news today so maybe on monday it's not like a really active news day but there is some really cool projects starting today the project is called x nova yes i am investing in x nova as well i will buy the public sale as well the public sale will be today at 3 pm utc and x nova is this beautiful project that's already up and running a telegram bot that you can use to trade cryptocurrencies guys beautiful bot with a lot of possibilities if you want to know all these possibilities then go to the x nova twitter and you check all of that today at 3 pm the public sale will go live i think this this token will do really good because it's a token that is doing 100% distribution at TGE. So that means it is not creating any inflationary system in crypto. Every token that was bought during pre-sales and investment rounds is going to be released 100% on the first day. So if people will dump the token, yeah, let them all dump that token. But from that moment, I believe that token will go up hugely in price. I believe many of those tokens that have a 100% distribution at TGE will do very successfully, just like we saw other projects already doing very successfully. So yesterday, no big news, but if I were you, I would look at Xnova token and maybe make a little bit profit there to exchange that profit again, of course, into Bitcoin, because for me, Bitcoin is still the safest play to do. And yes, I do play around with altcoins, meme coins, NFTs and all that stuff, but I always do that with the same intention, the attention to accumulate more Bitcoins, guys. And no, I'm not dumping any markets and all that stuff. I don't do that because I really believe in these projects and I want to support those projects. But yes, I will be taking my profits. So tip for today, if you want to make some profits, look at the launch of X Nova. Really cool project. And I will keep you up to date on these projects that I also invest in so that you know exactly what I'm doing and you could become part of a little bit profit or not. That's up to you guys. So that was the news for today. Uh, the rest of the news is all about Bitcoin spot ETF. Now even the Ethereum spot ETF. There's so many spot ETFs being like requested for approval. I don't know anywhere where to start. But the most important part is that you anticipate and not react start to buy all of the tokens before that the spot approval is there that is how you make the profits if you want to react to the approval you're mostly too late so that was the news for the day let's quickly jump into the next part welcome to the question part for today uh, the question was didi if you're in profit and altcoins at the moment are you taking profit or are you waiting for the bull market to evolve completely and then taking profit in altcoins? That's a very difficult question to answer because you might be a very strong believer in that altcoin, for example, Chainlink or um, Solana or maybe Aave. So if you're a true believer in that coin and you believe it has a lot of potential and the potential could be higher than the potential in Bitcoin, like Bitcoin, for example, times five, times six, altcoins potential times 10, times 15, then you, of course, stay in that altcoin with that part of your portfolio. If you have a well-balanced portfolio, like 60% in Bitcoin, 40% in altcoins, there is no need for you to keep adapting every time during the bull market. You positioned yourself well, you bought the bear market bottom, you believe in the altcoin, you believe in the project behind it. So yes, you run that bull market together with that Bitcoin bull market. If you are afraid that Bitcoin might start to outperform that altcoin because Bitcoin spot ETF could be approved, which in my honest opinion will lead to the fact that people will sell their altcoins bags to buy Bitcoin to join that beautiful moonshot because of the spot ETF approval. That's what I meant with anticipating instead of reacting. 
So if people sell their altcoin bags to buy more Bitcoin, then of course the liquidity from the altcoins is disappearing, which means the altcoins will also drop a little bit in price. I don't know if we are there yet in the part of this market cycle that there is enough liquidity to push Bitcoin and the altcoins at the same time. Mostly they move separately from each other. First Bitcoin moves, then when Bitcoin stabilizes and goes sideways, the altcoins move because people are taking profit here, investing in altcoins, pumping the altcoins, then again Bitcoin moves, that's, that's how it mostly moves. So if people are starting to anticipate that Bitcoin spot ETF will be approved and there will be a moonshot in Bitcoin, they will be selling their altcoin bags to buy more Bitcoins which will push a little bit on those altcoins prices. That will push the prices a little bit down. So it's very important for you to always have a well-balanced uh, portfolio so you're not afraid of all these moves, guys. The second tip I want to give you about this is uh, it depends also on the altcoin. So I sometimes invest short-term in altcoins. I sometimes invest long-term in the altcoins. Chainlink and Polkadot, for example, I already invested in the previous bear market guys so i'm running them very long time i just keep adding chainlink keep adding polkadot keep adding solana to my portfolio every time when we enter a new bear market because i believe that the long term of these projects other tokens like meme coins or nfts sometimes i buy just to make profit in a couple of days or even the token that's going to go live today like xnova if that really performs well like times five or times ten Yes, I will take some profits over there and I will take my core investment out. So for example, if I put one Ethereum in an altcoin and the price prompts type 5 and it's 5 Ethereum, I will take out my one Ethereum investment and the rest is profit, I will let it run. But one Ethereum that was my core investment, I will use again to invest in other stuff. Or maybe I take out two Ethereum, one initial investment, one the profit, and the other three Ethereum, I just keep let it keep running because maybe it will go higher. So it's all up to you and about your emotional involvement into a project or maybe you really did research uh, behind the fundamentals and the team and all that stuff and that's where you make your decisions. I can't make that decision for you but for me there's only one rule that counts in crypto and that's profit is profit. It's never bad to take profit. You will never feel sad if you took profit. You will feel sad if you didn't take profit and the price crashes. And I believe that many of you know exactly that feeling what I'm talking about. Ah, should I sell? Should I take profit? No, 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 let's wait. Bam, it crashes and then you're down below your investment. Always take out your investment, let the rest of that profit run. But if you can take more profit, take profit. Profit is profit. You will never cry of taking profit. Maybe some of you will be like, ah, oh, I could have had more profit if I stayed in longer. But that feeling will be gone like in 60 seconds because you took profit. And the profit will overschedule the more upward potential that you could have had because you can use that profit to make other upward potential in a new cryptocurrency again. So that was the answer to that question. Let's jump into the next part. Can you see me? I am hidden, <laughs> guys. Uh, today, the inspirational part of the video is about something very important in life. I want you to understand it's very important that you surround yourself with positive people. Stay away from all those small-minded people that discourage you and your ambitions. Surround yourself with big-minded, open-minded people that encourage you to become big and open-minded as well. It's true what they always say. You mostly act and think the same as the average of like three to six people that you surround yourself with. So if you keep surrounding yourself with small-minded people, they want to keep you small-minded. They don't want you to grow. They don't want you to go for your ambitions. They don't want you to improve your lifestyle. They don't want you to make more money than they do because they are small-minded. Surround yourself with big-minded, open-minded people, entrepreneurs, people that also took the step in their life to change their complete life to be happy. Those people that you can see of, they are truly happy because they're not stuck in the box anymore or in that golden cage that was formed in the 90s because you went to college and you just got caught in that complete web of the government's tax companies and all the centralized entities that just want to enslave you in a digital modern way.
if you want to be able to escape that modern slavery system, you need to surround yourself with people that already did it or are doing it as well. Don't surround you with naysayers. They will always be, nah, not good over here. Nah, too risky. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Nah, I am your very good friend. I would advise you not to do that. But that saying no, no, no of them comes out of their own fears. And probably a little bit out of the envy that they don't even dare to think about what you're thinking about. So if you're thinking about changing life or changing jobs or changing whatever it is, surround yourself with the people that already did it or are about to do it. You become a naysayer to the naysayers. Block them. Block them out of their life. They are small-minded. They will never grow. They will always stay the same. They will keep running the hamster wheel. And even better, that hamster wheel is still getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So they keep running less and less and less. That's not the people you want to surround yourself with. If you want to become successful with all the ambitions you have, surround yourself with people that will support you. That will say, yes, do it. And if you fail, I will be there to support you again. Surround you with that kind of people. Open-minded, big-minded, non-sheeple, but people. <laughs> the small-minded people are mostly also the 90% of sheeple, if you know what I'm saying. They would also be telling you, yeah, you need to wear a face mask to not get the flu. Or yeah, you need to have a vaccination to not get a flu. That's mostly the small-minded people over there that can't think outside the box, that can't think for themselves. You must not surround yourself with those people. Surround yourself with the people that think different, act different, live different. And then you will slowly start to think different, act different, and live different as well. And by that you step by step will change whatever it is in life that you want to change. It can be a small change, it can also be a huge change. But it's very important that you surround yourself with the people that want to support you in all of your ambitions. Positive or negative ambitions, they should be there to support you. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did enjoy the video, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about all the other stuff I talked about? And do you like my little beautiful garden here in Phuket, Thailand? I love that one over there with the red, look, bamboo style thing. I don't even know what plant it is, but I love the colors. Um, if you like them, then do give me a thumbs up. Again, two thumbs up, three thumbs ups, minimum three, because else it's on, off, and it needs to be on again. So push it, click it, push it. <laughs> Something like that. Guys, I wish you a beautiful Monday and hopefully see you tomorrow again in the next video. And yes, tomorrow maybe beach, booty and Bitcoin again. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow. Bam.